Just when the process of privatizing the generation and distribution companies in the power sector seem on the verge of completion, it has come under very heavy criticisms. 11 electricity distribution companies were up for commercial bids. 16 consortia participated. But with reference to the Bini distribution company, the governors of Edo, Delta and Ekiti State say the entire process was fraught with corruption. Here in this room, with the members of the National Council on Privatization, the Technical Committee Chair is responding to those allegations. On the allegation that the bid process was not transparent, I wholeheartedly affirm that the entire transaction followed due process and was governed by the provisions of the RFP. Incidentally, the submissions made by the Southern Consortium to the BPE show that the ownership of the consortium is comprised of seven members. Therefore, close to 90% of this consortium is therefore owned by private sector companies that are not owned directly or indirectly by the governments of Delta, Edo, Ekiti, and Ondo states. According to Mr. Tedo, Southern Consortium, which represented the Agrif state, has been a part of the entire process and never complained before now. Seeking to rewrite the rules after a game has been played is unacceptable and certainly does not conform to global best practice. Likewise, accusations of corruption, which are not based on the provision of an iota of evidence, are also unacceptable. On the allegation of lack of competence by Vigil, which emerged for the Bini Disco, the council says three evaluation teams examined the technical bids and all requirements were met. The EFCC, the ICPC, and the SSS also observed the entire process from bid submission to the conclusion of evaluation. Leads were assigned to the evaluating teams by balloting to ensure that no evaluator had any prior knowledge of which bid he or she would evaluate. Some of the criteria evaluated were experience in operation and maintenance of distribution companies, experience in developing countries, technical and investment plan, management and staffing, and finally financing plan and ability to raise finance. The power sector is undergoing reforms. That alone has raised mixed reactions. Governments say it means well for the sector, but arguments in other quarters suggest that the sector borders on national security and should be carefully treated. There is a common ground, however. Power needs to be improved in the country for any meaningful development to happen. Olu Phillips, Channels Television News.